Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today I will be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds. It is also called pressed watercolor paper and 100% cotton. And for the watercolors I will be using mine, mostly green and yellow. And for the brushes I will be using Raphael round number 8 and number 4. Also, I will be using this one from Lebens and Paint Brushes. I will link it in the description for doing the branches. And first thing I'm gonna do is just block out sketching where I want my branches to go. And now that I'm looking at this video, I can see that it's quite light. You can barely see the sketch, but on the finished painting, you can see where the branches are. So I just wanted to show you this step. So, you know, I did do that also just draw in the branches. Now I'm mixing some green in all three uh, parts of my palette. Then to the one I'm adding black to the other one, I'm adding yellow. And the third one is going to stay just the way it is, it, it is as it is. Now uh, getting brush, just get any brush you have, the largest brush you have to prevent your paper. I do want it to be wet because first layer, the background will be blurry and I don't want any harsh edges. So I did wet it to paint wet in wet, picked up a little bit of the blue and just added it here and there, mostly on the right side and also some yellow and added it in between. You can see that the background is very, very light. I wanna keep it light. I don't want any dark colors in the background. Some splatters with green that I'm gonna to use to paint my greenery. And I did want it to make it a little bit less harsh, so I smudged it with water. I left it to dry completely. And now just picking up first that, that green mixed in with yellow, this could be something like a sap green. So if you have a sap green, you can use sap green. And I'm just with the tip of my brush, I'm just pressing onto the paper, adding the roots, the upper part of my uh, leaf, I guess that could also be flowers, but it, the ones that hasn't bloomed yet. So adding that on top and then rinsing my brush and moving the paint around to create that lower part to make it slightly lighter. You can see how I did that. And then in a the corner in that top, I've added a little bit more of the green or just that first green that I haven't mixed with anything. And now move on also to the smaller brush. I want to show you, you can do that with a larger brush or with a smaller brush. You can, um, well, I guess that smaller brush can hold less water and you can actually be maybe more precise depending on the size of the paper you're using. I do like to do this with a little bit smaller brush. As I said, just gives me a little bit more control. And I can also paint in those smaller, uh, smaller leaves, smaller greenery. For all the branches, I did the same thing. First using that sap green, painted in the greenery, leaves, or as I said, flowers, and ju then just added the root, the well upper part where the stem is. And also on the top, I'm adding some darker flowers. I'm just going to call them flowers, splattering some green also, especially in the lower part where there are no flowers anymore on the branches to make it look like there is some little buds there on the branches and then just picked up a little bit more of the paint slightly larger brush i do want to create also larger splatters so just doing some splatters with a lot of larger brush and when i'm happy how that looks i mixed in a little bit of the black and coffee brown, this lighter brown, just to get some darker brown. This could, you can use sepia here if you have something like sepia. And just added those branches. And I did not uh, paint one line for the branch, but you can see that my line is broken because some parts of the branches are going to be visible and some parts are not going to be visible. So just don't make one line 
on top of your flowers but make a broken line making it look like some parts is hidden behind the flowers a little bit more of the black and some of the flowers are still wet that's fine it's gonna bleed that black the darker brown is going to bleed into them that's fine by me adding a little bit more some black to have some parts of those branches a little bit darker a little bit more of the splatters with green and when this dried completely I've just added a little bit more of the darker flowers this time I'm using that mix of green and black to paint a couple of those and just with black doing the root the part where the stem is and also at the end I decided to add a couple of even lighter leaves or flowers with some yellow and this time they are a little bit smaller than one upper on the branches and when it's dried I left it to dry because this time I did not want any bleeds when it dries completely I'm just adding some splatters with black and with that I'll be finishing off this painting quite simple you can see but fun project you can use this also for cards for bookmarks whatever you like this is a fun practice so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and I would really really appreciate that a lot and again guys thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye